Mazda in the form of the 2023 CX-50 SUV, which is well equipped to take on compact crossover rivals such as the Hyundai Tucson, Nissan Rogue, and Toyota RAV4. The CX-50 is available with a naturally aspirated 187 horsepower 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine or a turbocharged version of the engine that produces 256 horsepower. All models are equipped with a six-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. A hybrid model is also being worked on that will use a powertrain from Toyota. The CX-50 shares a platform with the CX-30 subcompact crossover and Mazda 3 compact car, offering similar athletic handling to the two winners. While barely larger than the company's CX-5 SUV, the CX-50 sports a more rugged styling, which is a departure from the more refined upscale design found elsewhere in Mazda's lineup. The CX-50 is a new model for the brand and Mazda says that it will be sold alongside the slightly smaller CX-5, which sits on an older platform. How long the two will be at the dealership together is unknown. The CX-50 is available in many trim levels from pretty basic to downright luxurious, but I recommend going with the turbo model. It added a more powerful 256 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine and increased towing capacity to 3,500 pounds. It also comes standard with a number of desirable features, including a panoramic sunroof, a 10.3-inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and leather seats with heated front seats. All models will come with a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine but what you will get is a more powerful turbocharged variant that offers 256 horsepower. The base non-turbo offering only produces 187 horsepower. A six-speed automatic is standard, as is all-wheel drive, and Mazda has sharp handling for the CX-50 thus carrying on the company's tradition of offering fun-to-drive vehicles. In fact, during our initial test drive, praised the CX-50 for providing a pleasant driving experience and accurate steering while maintaining a comfortable ride. The hybrid model will later join the lineup with a powertrain sourced from Toyota. Expect that to be the one found in the RAV4 Hybrid, which is a 2.5-liter four-cylinder with two electric motors good for a combined 219 horsepower. So far, it's only had a chance to test the turbocharged model, but managed to hit speeds of 6.6 .6 seconds to 60 miles per hour on the track. The most efficient CX-50 is the one with a four-cylinder base. That model is rated for 24 mpg city and 30 mpg highway, but using the optional turbo only lowers those numbers by 1 mpg each while adding a lot of performance. On our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test route, the turbocharged CX-50 managed 28 mpg. For more information on the CX-50's fuel economy, like the CX-5 and CX-30 crossovers, the CX-50 offers room for five passengers in two rows of seats. Inside, the large square dash vents give the 50 a slightly more truck look than the smaller CX-30, but the overall vibe is very upscale, especially on the loaded Premium Plus trim. The front seats are comfortable and supportive, Rear seat space is also ample, but it's worth noting that the CX-5 offers more headroom. All models are equipped with a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, a start button and a partially digital gauge display. While the base CX-50 comes with a smaller 8.8-inch infotainment screen, all other trims get a larger 10.3-inch screen. Both versions run the latest version of the Mazda Connect interface and are controlled via a click wheel mounted on the center console. All models come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both with wireless connectivity. An 8-speaker stereo is standard but the Premium and Premium Plus models come with a 12-speaker Bose stereo with Sirius XM satellite radio. Cordless phone chargers are available, but only at the top of the Turbo Premium Plus.